Hello my angels, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to a brand new vlog. I don't think I've ever been quite so excited to start a new vlog because I'm just going to come out and say it. We did it! <laughs> oh my goodness, I am genuinely over the moon. I can finally announce, and I feel like so many of you guessed it already if you follow me on Instagram, but I can finally say that I am the fifth ambassador to Holland Cooper. Just for those words to come out of my mouth is a dream come true. I can't tell you the months, I would actually go as far as to say years, that it has taken and <laughs> I'm just over the moon to be not only associated with Holland Cooper but also Jade herself. I feel like our brand ethos is just so in line and so on par and I just feel extremely honoured to be one of their five official ambassadors and to even be on the lineup with the other incredible and I mean seriously powerful inspirational ladies is astounding to me I just I see their names and I see who they are and I'm just like how is this happening but I feel like I really have you to thank and I feel like if it wasn't for you I wouldn't be sitting where I am today and I am so excited and so over the moon about this partnership that actually I just wanted to be able to come on look <laughs> in the first two minutes I just it had to come out I literally felt like on every single vlog I just couldn't wait to tell you and thank you I feel like all of you know how passionate I am about Holland Cooper from everything that they stand by down to the quality of the products and I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. So if you haven't seen the reel that we created in order to announce the partnership, it is one of my favorites. I feel like it sums up every single aspect of my life. And that's the incredible thing about Holland Cooper. It's not just that incredible outdoor wear and the tweed jackets and the tweed skirts. I literally wear Holland Cooper in my every single day life. Look, even I'm sat down today in one of their divine sweater dresses. They have something for everybody, no matter what they do or where they are in their life. So you all know me, I am I'm an extremely busy person and I feel like I'm allowed to say that. I feel like you would all agree with me, but in so many different ways. So one day I can be sat in a boardroom in London wearing a pinstripe suit to the next day wearing a beautiful tweed outfit to wearing one of their iconic jackets on a dog walk in the peeing rain. They literally cover all bases as well as when I'm riding. So that was something that we uh, put into the reel and it's something that you haven't really seen. I've shared bits and pieces on my YouTube of me riding. You came with me up to Manchester to go and ride one of my homebreds. But to be able to wear Holland Cooper equestrian clothing and shoot the campaign, it was the best feeling ever to just be on that horse looking through his ears galloping up a gallop track whilst wearing the most incredible holland cooper outfit knowing that we were shooting the campaign to be able to announce it i was actually like go and look at the reel because you'll see me my face i look like a cheshire cat because i am smiling so much I had permanent goosebumps all day, and honestly, if you could see my arms right now, my hairs are standing up. So, we did it. We did it. And it's going to be an incredible year. There is so much in the pipeline. Bear with me a second. Mm, I have so much to tell you that I haven't sipped my tea. As I was saying, so much in the pipeline. We have loads of events. We're going to so many different places. 
let me tell you what is coming out will blow your mind it is so me it is so us and if you love the things that i tell you about and love the things that i love you are going to lose it and i mean bigger and better than ever and that's something that i adore about jade is that she's always striving to the next thing and it's iconic it's timeless it's elegant but she's always got this slight little bit of i don't know pizzazz if that makes sense whenever i'm wearing head to toe holland cooper i feel the absolute bomb anyway as you can tell <laughs> i am genuinely over the moon and i just cannot wait for the future with holland cooper it's going to be incredible anyway so this vlog is going to be a super homey very cozy autumnal vlog i have done an enormous holland cooper winter order and seems as it is the most atrocious day out there i'm talking high speed winds i'm talking perishingly cold and absolutely peeing it down Woohoo! It's wonderful out there. So my Holland Cooper delivery could not have come at a better time. It is absolutely enormous. I've actually had to pop it on the floor and I do have a feeling that it has footwear in it. So I am so superstitious. I cannot have new shoes or any shoes of that matter of fact on the table. So I have this enormous, I don't know whether I can actually pick it up. <laughs> okay. Watch out. Enormous box from Holland Cooper with some amazing coats, some incredible wellies, and just to ensure that not only I look the part, but also that I am prepared for the most miserable season ahead. Gosh, I sound so... <laughs> I sound so whiny. I love this season because obviously we've got Halloween coming up and Christmas, but it does come with some frightful weather. Um, and I just want to be ready for it. Absolutely delicious. This is chai tea with a dash of oat milk and it just curbs any sweet craving that I have. It is so mm, scrumptious and I love it at this time of year. So today this vlog is going to be super warm, very cozy, autumnal haven. I have to do a floral arrangement in the hallway. My mother-in-law is coming to stay for a week, which I can't wait, and I want her to feel really warm and cozy. All of those gorgeous like October, November vibes. So I would normally have fresh flowers, but seems as we're not entertaining. It seems like a waste and um, just financially it doesn't make sense. So I do have some gorgeous faux flowers and they're these sort of rich golden burgundy, very warm uh, colors. I'm also going to snip some of the Annabelle hydrangeas as they are dried and they are looking divine. So we're going to create a beautiful faux and dried floral arrangement for the hallway. I am going to do a Holland Cooper unboxing because there are some incredible pieces in here that I know you are going to love and that I am going to be wearing today <laughs> because I need to bear this horrific weather and I know that there are some amazing pieces in here that are not only gonna keep me warm, but also keep me dry. So we are also going to be taking these very naughty sausage dogs for a walk in this absolute frightful weather. So this vlog is going to be super homey, super wholesome, very autumnal, and gorgeous so let's get straight into this okay first things first I can feel these aren't heavy enough to be Wellington boots so I think this is one of my coats oh I've not prepared this very well I'm going to have to get myself a knife and I will be back okay let's do this I always terrify you when I'm opening up packages because I'm so blasé with the knife <laughs> Right, it's actually not a very sharp knife. Fingers crossed that has gone through the, the tape. Found a tabby dozy. Get over there, and let's see what's inside. I say this every single time, but I mean it every single time. Can we just take a look at this impeccable packaging? Right. 
the iconic green box. You've got the gold branding, the crest of Holland Cooper. Is that of royalty, I feel? It's got the amazing lion with the crown on and a unicorn. Absolutely love it. Right, let's take this out and pop this down. Oh, everything is packaged to perfection. The beautiful tissue paper, the gold stickers. I think this is actually going to be my favorite coat of their entire collection this year. It is this stunning, wait for it. Look at this color. So this is Holland Cooper's dark olive green long expedition coat. Now this is almost like a redesign of their previous expedition coat and it has been made better. So as you can see, it is a full length coat, but with everything about Holland Cooper, it is all in the details. So let's talk through them. You have got this amazing hood that is detachable, so you've got a zip at the back. Now something that really bothers me is when you've got a big hood, but when it's windy outside, the hood just flies off. Now Holland Cooper have thought about that and they have put a toggle at the back, just ensuring that the hood fits you and that you don't have to worry about it. So they've thought about it for you. I love the fact that the poppers come all the way up to the top because at this time of year, and especially as we're going into November and December, into the coldest months of the year, I think it is so important to cover your neck. When you get cold air blowing on your neck, that is when you get sick. And so it comes just above your chin and you can also tuck your lips in when it is those perishingly cold mornings. So this is fully waterproof on the outside and they have used recycled polyester on the inside. I absolutely love the color. I think it's just amazing. They've got the double expedition pockets. Now, if you know me, I need pockets for everything. I have got multiple leads. I have got four sausage dogs. We need leads, we need harnesses, we need poo bags, we need treats. So we need a lot of pockets. <laughs> and this coat does just that. Then you've also got the pockets here which have the branding on. Now, I just love how subtle they've been. So can you see that? It looks so classy and in all honesty, really expensive, the way that they've done that. I love, I love how they've embroidered those pockets. So you've got pockets here, you've got pockets on your chest, and you've also got pockets where you can slide your hands into. So if you are freezing cold and you have got your hands to be able to put them in your pockets, <sighs> the gate has literally been going all day today. Bear with me a second. So back to the coat of absolute dreams. Now it has poppers and zips. So on days where you are getting a little bit hot, you can literally just pop a few of them or zip it halfway so you can have your legs walking out. But equally on days like today, you can be wrapped up to the nines, be warm and be dry. And that is so important for me, especially when I'm looking into a coat. It needs to have all of these details, but also, it needs to look good. So it is a slightly slimmer fit to their previous expedition coat. They've also put in a elasticated toggle at the back so that you can cinch in your waist. And I just think that that is something that is amazing. They've designed it for the female body. So if you do want to have it straight, or if you do want to nip it in and show off your figure underneath your big coat, you can. So I am absolutely in love with that. And I think I'm going to be wearing this on our walk today. Oh, goodness gracious me, this is amazing. I absolutely love that. And also, if you are going on any treks, if you're going to Scotland, if you're going skiing, if you're going on any mountaineering holidays, or if you're walking your poochies and in need of a very warm but chic coat, this is the one for you. Right, let's open up the next box. Oh, I feel like it's Christmas. Well, this one's relatively light. It's not as heavy as the other one. So 
let's open this up. Here she goes again with the knife. Here we go. I just like how they've done this branding. So when you open up the cardboard box, they have this on the inside and it says, I would personally like to thank you for shopping with Holland Cooper. I hope you love your purchase. Best wishes, Jade Holland Cooper herself. And I just think the little touches like this just makes it so much more personal. It's amazing and I adore Jade. And actually, if you don't follow her, you should because she is just this, insanely beautiful entrepreneurial boss woman and mother i mean just she takes every box and her instagram is incredible so i will leave her details down below as well and definitely go and give her a follow if you don't already so here we go the next green box oh in here what do we have i did go a little bit crazy on the old coat ordering because i feel like you kind of need a coat for different scenarios. So certainly my dog walking coat can sometimes get muddy. I'm climbing over stiles. I'm trekking across muddy fields. I've got four sausage dogs that like to jump up at me. And then on days where I need a coat that I'm still needing to be warm and dry, but I want it to be clean and I want it that I can just put it on and I look super chic. And when I saw this coat, I just thought it was going to tick all of those boxes. So let's take a look at it. I think you guys are going to love this one. I cannot wait to pair this. Even with the outfit that I'm wearing today, I'm thinking sweater dresses, I'm thinking jeans and gorgeous woolly jumpers. This is so gorgeous. So let me stand up and show you. So this is one of their brand new padded long line coats. I believe this is the Farnham and this is their stunning sand color. So it's this slightly beige golden. I would, I would call this almost toffee. They call it sand, but I'd actually say it's slightly darker than a sand and it is the perfect and I mean perfect color for this season. As you can see, it goes with cream, but it also goes with black. It would look epic with chocolate, my favorite color of this season. But also, you know that I am obsessed with a tonal look. So even with the beige underneath this, it would look amazing. But as always, let's talk through these details. So again, you've got the hood. Now, what I love about this coat is just how elevated it is. They've gone with these horn-like buttons. I'm actually gonna give you a close-up so that you can see the branding on here. It is so subtle and smart. I just absolutely love it. So those horn-like buttons go all the way down the coat. You've got this elasticated waist belt to cinch in. And look at this antique styled buckle. So you haven't got anything that looks sort of overbearing or a little bit overpowering in terms of the hardware. So you could be wearing a silver belt, you could be wearing a gold belt, you could be going with any colored hardware and this would match. I think it is so understated, but outrageously classy. I absolutely love this. You are going to see me wear this a lot. Now they've designed this coat to be a long length and a super slim silhouette. And another thing that I love about it is their diamond quilting here. So the whole thing is in this padded diamond quilting. You've also got those two large pockets at the bottom with also pockets at the side. So you can have your hands in your pockets to ensure that they are toasty and warm. It also has that gorgeous chocolate Holland Cooper branded lining. It's got a detachable hood and I am obsessed. I think this is going to look amazing on. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna pop this on now just so that you can see what I'm talking about in terms of the slim silhouette and then you can cinch in the waist belt. Give me two seconds. As you can see, it's got the beautiful chocolate lining. Let's pop it on. I also love it when coats have, I don't know what these are called. They're like the little wrist inserts where you can pop your thumbs through and they keep your wrists warm. But equally, if you're looking for a little bit of a smarter look, 
you can tuck them in. It really depends upon how you wish to use the coat. So it is so versatile. It also has a double way zip. So like I was saying earlier, if you want it to be super cozy and warm, obviously do the whole zip up. But equally, if you are getting a little bit too hot, or if you need movement for your legs, you can bring that zip up. So here we go. I absolutely love this. Gosh, this is absolutely beautiful. I must say, <laughs> I'm a little bit hot. But anyway, let's do these buttons up. Let's do this waist belt up, and then you will get the gist of quite how beautiful this coat is. We're gonna tuck that in for a moment. And look at that for the perfect autumn winter coat. It is so chic, it's so elevated. I am extremely toasty warm and I'm absolutely obsessed with the details. Now I shouldn't say this, but I actually think that this hardware is my favorite. I feel like it is the sort of classy nod to sort of English country heritage and it is absolutely beautiful. And I also think that it is an incredible price point. Coats like this are an investment, but trust me, when this coat does so many different things and it looks as sensational as it does, it's a fantastic price point. So as always, I will leave all of the details in that description box down below. Oh, I'm getting really rather toasty warm. So let's unbox a few of these other items. I've got one more coat that I was really intrigued by. So I'm really looking forward to unboxing that and seeing what it looks like in real life and on. And then I've got some Wellington boots. So let's keep going. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so soft. Oh my goodness. Okay, this has completely exceeded all of my expectations. I did think I was going to like the hood, but I actually think this is my favorite coat I have unboxed so far. <gasps> this is absolutely beautiful. Let's take a look at it. Now this is Holland Cooper's brand new Vostok winter coat in black. And I absolutely love it. It's almost got a slight vintage feel and look to it. And it's got this beautiful, so soft faux fur collar. It goes down actually almost like into a gilet shape. And then you've also got the matching faux fur black cuffs. This is absolutely beautiful. So I love the length. I think it's super flattering. And they've also been really smart with the silhouette. As always, we're gonna pop this on and have a little look at what it looks like. Here we go. Oh wow, again, I love these things where you can pop your thumbs through. So it's been designed with this mock front gilet underneath. It is so versatile and it's so elegant. I feel extremely sophisticated and I love these sort of luxury but detachable faux fur trim. So if the faux fur is not your thing, you can take these off. They are literally just poppers. Now let's see what it looks like with the hood up. Oh wow. <gasps> she is ready for the slopes. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. Do you see what I mean? It is so glamorous. It's very vintage looking. I'm ready for Aspen, baby. <laughs> I love this. I really didn't know what to think when I saw it on the website. And I thought, do you know what? If they've done the faux fur well, it will look exceptional. But if this wasn't up to par, I think it would have looked a little bit naff. I couldn't have been more wrong. This is so elegant and sophisticated, and might I add, extremely warm. <laughs> I'm feeling really rather toasty. I absolutely love this. Again, it's got the pockets, and they are in fact fleece lined. So this is the perfect winter coat. Maybe on those school runs, if you're out in London, or even if you are looking for a coat to go skiing, this is fantastic. You've also got the two-way zip. So again, you can, if you're getting a little bit too hot, 
Oh, you could actually unzip the whole thing and go with the gilet underneath. This is absolutely fantastic. This is such a fantastic coat. Gosh, I'm spoilt for choice. I don't know what to wear. Well, I most certainly am not wearing this on the dog walk. This is far too glamorous. <laughs> absolutely stunning. Now, one last design feature to add. For those ladies who do like to cinch in the waist, Jade has thought of everything. So, they have the toggles on the inside of the coat, and you can literally cinch them in like so, just creating a really, really tailored look. I love it absolutely love it i'm thinking this outfit you know you pop it over your gym kit you pop it over a glamorous dress you pop it over a sweater dress you could literally wear this coat on the slopes and would look the absolute bomb obsessed absolutely obsessed oh sat back down quick sip of tea mm. scrum didiocious and now for the last two packages now i've been eyeing these up for quite some time. Look at their shoe boxes. I mean, iconic. And I think they are going to be the perfect footwear to add to my dog walking wardrobe. Now these are Holland Cooper's rubber Chelsea boots. Now I have Holland Cooper's clogs and they are absolutely perfect. I wear them on a daily basis multiple times. But at this time of year, the backs of my ankles are starting to get a little bit wet and rather chilly. So Hall and Cooper have covered all bases because if I am doing a quick spin around the orchard, I don't want to have to pull a whole Wellington boot on. So this is the perfect option. It's going to keep my feet warm and dry, but also they are fully lined in this super soft Sherpa, which is 100% waterproof vulcanized rubber. So they are not just practical, but they are also super stylish. I also love the gold logo on the front. They are going to be so well worn in this household. I think I'm even going to have to get my mother a pair of these for Christmas because she will absolutely live in these. So, last but most certainly not least, we have oh, the pair of footwear that I seem to live in that actually you don't see me very often wait for it. Wellington boots. <laughs> I literally live in these. Now these are the Sherpa Lines Chelsea Wellington. As you can see they're sort of like that mid height which I think is going to be so handy and so practical. I can't tell you how soft this is and now they are made from superior vulcanized rubber so the quality is second to none. Again I've gone with the gunmetal grey hardware. It also has the zip at the back. Now this is a design feature. You don't need it. They are literally just pull-ons and again the grip of a Holland Cooper Welly is incredible. I can't tell you the amount of times I have to leg it. <laughs> leg it across a field to try and catch Lancelot chasing a hare or the dogs running up to another dog to say hello. The pheasants are in full force at the moment so I need to be able to have some serious grip to cling on to my four very cheeky sausages and these are absolutely beautiful. I can't believe how soft they are. I just maybe you can see down there. Can you see the sole of that? It's this beautiful it really does feel like shearling and the sole is fully padded. It's almost like a cushion of that gorgeous Sherpa. I'm obsessed and I really, really liked this sort of matte black. I think that it looks super chic and I think it's going to match the coats to absolute perfection. So that was my winter Holland Cooper order. They are the perfect items for this time of year and actually going into the chilliest season of all. I am going to get wrapped up and not only am I going to be warm, 
I'm gonna be dry and I'm going to look sensational whilst walking. My saucies. Look, he's ready. Are you ready? Are you ready for the dog walk? He said, Mummy, please, can we go out? Please. I really want to go out. I really want to go and see the pheasants. I want to see the new smells. Yeah? You have to put your harness on. Your harness and his very smart Holland Cooper collar. If you haven't seen the Holland Cooper dog collars, they are so cute and they are so posh. He's a posh dog. Are you, oh, oh, are you right? He's a posh dog. They are this gorgeous like chestnut leather with gold studs and they look so cute, all four of them. Again, that reel is on my Instagram, so please go and take a look at it. Anyway, I feel that considering the rain is currently going sideways, I'm sort of veering towards doing the floral arrangement first with the hope that this rain passes. So, I'm going to make myself actually another cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Odie's having so much fun down there with all the tissue paper in the boxes. <laughs> he likes to sit in the boxes. We're gonna have a little bit of a cuddle. And then I will meet you in the hallway to create this incredible autumnal, dark, rich, golden floral arrangement together. I am back and I have just been to have a little bit of a sniff-a-thon in the garden and look at these beautiful hydrangeas. They are going to look absolutely exquisite wizard in this hallway. So as you will be able to see, at this time of year hydrangeas are normally slightly over. You do tend to have more hydrangeas in this gorgeous like golden burgundy tones and then these gorgeous, they're like marshmallow still and a lot of them have got these sort of like crispy golden edges which I think are going to really incorporate the beams and the beautiful golden and brown tones of this hallway. Now with the fresh but dried florals and the faux flowers I think we can create something, oh there's a little creepy crawly Ooh, lovely. Um, <laughs> lots of nature coming out of these flowers. I think that we can create something really, really special. So let's get straight into this. I'm gonna pop this down. And first things first, we need to take out this summer arrangement. And in all honesty, I think what I'm gonna do is literally, oh, Bobby. Ooh! Okay, she is out. I'm going to pop it down over here because I think what I'm going to do is actually pick out the other eucalyptus and the dried hydrangeas and then just place them in. Now the vase that we use here in this hallway is almost like a pot slash vase. I actually believe this is from Ochre. I don't think this is an antique number but I will link uh, similar ones down below and if it is an Ochre then I will leave that direct link. And I just love how it incorporates all the glue tones and it is quite a strong vase so it will hold the arrangement. We're not going to put water in it because we don't need to. So let's start building this arrangement together. Now I've been to my flower shed and these are the faux flowers that I have picked out to create this arrangement. So what I'm going to do, as you can see, I feel like they've just been... Um, <laughs> not actually taken apart since last time because I literally take them out all together as you just saw. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place them on the floor and I'm going to collectively put together the matching florals and then we'll start building it. I've had to move you slightly. Hi little chicken. Just so that you can see what I'm doing down here. I've got all my faux flowers down here and I'm literally just taking them apart just so that I can see exactly what I have and then we can start placing Placing it into the vase together. Now I've got these gorgeous burgundy looking eucalyptus which I think will look amazing. And I'm also going to pop in the green eucalyptus and I think it's just going to tie in those hydrangeas. Also got these gorgeous little white berries. I don't know whether these are sort of Christmassy or whether we can get away with it. I do think that the small hints of white will pull the sort of beige creamy tones out of Odie's really having a great time of rummaging. Odie, come here. Come say hi. Come say hi to everybody. Huh? Come on now. He's so noble. Oh, gosh, I have to grab him. Here he is. 
my gorgeous little dash hand. Huh? I've got Lancelot down here trying to get to him. It's just a bit of a sausage fest. A bit of a sausage fest, Mummy. Anywho, right, I'm going to pop him down. So as I said, we've got some white berries, which I think will just pull out all those gorgeous sort of like creamy tones from the curtains. Now I've got these rose hips. I think they're rose hips. And they're quite tall, so they look rather dramatic, which I love. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time organising my flowers. And as I always say, we work in threes. But again, because this is a hallway, we need the floral arrangement to look good. Odie, that is the camera. Odie, stop it, that's very naughty. As I was saying, we need it to look good from all angles. So, right, almost done. I think what I'm gonna do is actually place in the larger branches first, then I'm going to buff it out with the eucalyptus. And then I'm going to place very strategically our, I definitely don't need this, <laughs> this is definitely not autumn, winter. He is going to go back in the floral shed. And then we are going to place in those gorgeous balloons of hydrangeas. So I think that is everything. I've also got these gorgeous glossy cherries, but those are for Christmas and that is coming soon. Okay, right. Ah, oh, as I always say, let's do this. I think first we should place the larger branches and then we can see how far out it is going to go. And then that will determine as to how short we may need to snip the hydrangeas. I really like a loose and whimsical floral arrangement. I don't like anything tight. I want it to look super classic, very classy, something that we could have just gone outside to snip nature. So these branches, I think, do just that. Just pop the sixth one. Something really, really important. When you are creating a floral arrangement, whether it's fresh or whether it's faux, especially in a central hallway where this floral arrangement will be able to be seen from all angles. Those walking down the stairs, coming through the dining room, coming through the formal rooms, and coming through the front door, you are going to see it from all angles. So there can't be any gaps, you can't be hiding anything, because trust me, when I'm creating a floral arrangement for something that's up against a wall, I'm most certainly putting all the fresh flowers at the front because we don't need them at the back. But when you're creating something like this, it's so important to see it from all angles. So that is definitely one of my top tips. Odie, the dogs are actually not allowed in this part of the house because they do exactly what Odie's doing. They sniff around the house and then they leave us wonderful presents. Not the kind of presents you want to find. Hmm? Odie, I'm trusting you. And if I find anything, I know it's you because this perfect little pickle it's just so sweetly. You have to see him. Look at this. He's just Mummy's little floral assistant today. Mummy's little floral assistant. Are you a little scrump scrump? He's so delicious. Right, as you can see, I am just placing the eucalyptus into the vase, just going all the way around and making sure there are no gaps. Oh, I'm liking this already. I just love those tones together. Now, I will leave some links below to fantastic places that you can buy uh, faux flowers from. It's just so much more sustainable, and I bring these out every single year. I might invest in a few new little stems every year just to jazz things up, but the main structure, something we've had for absolute years, I think ochre are fantastic at um, faux flowers. Also, Neptune are incredible. So that is the eucalyptus all placed around. I have also got these gorgeous leaves. Look at those, aren't they absolutely beautiful? And I also think I'm gonna bring the curtain in. Don't you think that sort of pulls out those gorgeous colors? It makes your eyes focus on the sort of reds and the little darker tones throughout the curtains. And they are quite long, which is great. And another thing about faux flowers is that you can actually bend them into the position that you need. Right, I think that looks great. 
there. Yeah, I quite like how it's sort of bulking it out slightly. I'm gonna put this one, have I got three of those? So I think what I'm gonna do is actually place this relatively in the middle so it looks like, oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Lancelot, do you like it, baby? Yeah, I really like that. That needs to go around the other way. Voila! So it might take a little bit of time just to ensure that you're putting it in the right place, therefore it's sitting in the right place. So I'm liking how this is looking so far. I am now going to take my enormous basket of these beautiful hydrangeas and I'm going to place them into this gorgeous vase and I love how the green leaves in the middle just sort of make it that little bit more vibrant. Look at that. I genuinely think that they are the perfect combination between the faux flowers and the Annabelle hydrangeas because you've got that gorgeous greeny leaf but also the slight hints of burgundy in it. Absolutely love that. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to save those ones because I only snipped three. I only snipped this one because of this situation. He's a bit of a, <laughs> a limp squid. <laughs> oh dear. Oh! Right, so I'm going to pop those hydrangeas there for now, and I'm going to place the big billowing hydrangeas first. I really cut them rather low down, so they've had a rather harsh pruning, but it's exactly what they needed, and therefore they're slightly longer, creating that fantastic, very high, oh, I love it. I've had a little play with it and I truly think that it is all coming together. So one thing I love about faux flowers is that you can almost bend them in the direction that you need them to sit. And so these branches have been all squashed up for the last year really. And so I'm just spreading out those gorgeous branches. I do think that that is all coming together. Look at how gorgeous those fresh animal hydrangeas look in here. Now, I feel like these are going to be the piece and a resistance. So I'm going to place our sort of sad looking, or sad hydrangea first. Gosh, I don't know whether he's really going to, to work well. It is all about the positioning. No, he is not going to work. I'm going to have to pop him in a little vase on a bedside table or something. <laughs> That's so sad. But I can snip him and he can have another, yeah, look how easy, another life to live. I've got these two gorgeous beauties and I think they are going to look magnificent just poking out of the top. He has to go in a pride position at the top. Gosh, I absolutely love it. Okay, I'm now going around, just making sure that it looks fantastic from all angles. I've had a good old zhuzh of it, and I think I'm really, really happy. So the final, last little thing is that I love to place a touch of eucalyptus just around the neck of the vase, just that it doesn't look like it's got these huge billowing stems coming out of it, so that you can actually see that we've made an effort and not just plonked them in the vase. I hope you don't think I've just plonked them in the vase. So, as you can see, I've got a little bit of a gap here, and I just want you to see this eucalyptus. It's got the gorgeous green, and then it's also got those slight hints of burgundy and red. So I think that it will go perfectly. I wasn't quite happy with the top of it. I've actually taken a touch more eucalyptus. Again, this has even more little hints of burgundy. And I'm literally just placing it ever so gently. Oh my goodness, it's in the groovy, baby. Uh, 
position, it's perfect. From here, I absolutely love it because we've got one of those gorgeous, sort of vibrant burgundy hydrangeas at the bottom, and that's a beautiful visual. Coming out of the dining room, of which nobody is going to, I love it. I actually think this is the best side. From you, what do we think? Okay, actually, from you is probably the worst side, <laughs> in all honesty. Um, well, there does look to be a slight gap here that I'm not liking. Do we need a touch of eucalyptus this way? Might have just made it. Yes. That has absolutely made it. Now, has it changed this direction? Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, I think if we're really lucky, that might just sit. She just sits perfectly there. I am obsessed. Okay, I'm now going to just make sure that all of these little branches, definitely floristry, is a labour of love. And you know, I'm not a trained florist at all. I literally just play and play and play until I'm happy. <laughs> probably the last 20 minutes just playing around with it and I hope you'll agree with me that I think it looks absolutely beautiful so you can see it from the angle from the window but let's take a little look and this is what it looks like from this angle it's one of my favorites it looks absolutely beautiful you've got the dark trident diffuser those beautiful billowing Annabelle hydrangeas you've got the eucalyptus we've got these gorgeous little bronze Branches. I think it looks stunning. Again, when you come down the staircase, this is the angle that you can see. That is the absolute mess that I have just created. And then coming around again, just making sure that it looks good from all angles. I've spent far too much time playing around with that. But this should last us until Christmas. So this is my autumnal October, November faux floral arrangement. Faux and dried. And I hope you guys love it as much as I do. So I'm going to have a very quick bite of lunch. I need to catch up on some emails and I've had a few missed calls whilst filming this. So I'm gonna quickly catch up and then I'm praying that the rain stops because I really really need to take the babies for a walk trust me they are not even going to want to walk in there so fingers crossed the rain subsides and we can go for a glorious walk together otherwise I'm gonna have to get all suited and booted and go for a mooch around the orchard because this is grimo mon grimo oh absolutely horrific it's actually not picking up the sideways rain that is currently going on it is absolutely revolting. Lancelot, do you want to go out in the rain? Do you want to go out in the rain? Huh? He actually is the toughest one out of the lot. He doesn't mind getting wet. The others? Oh my goodness, you can't do anything other than roast Chick Chick than to get them outside in the rain. <laughs> anyway, my little prince. Huh? It's lunchtime. Let's go and have a bite of lunch and then... We're going to go walkies. Lancelot, you want to do walkies? Uh, what are you doing to mummy's dress? <laughs> you want to go walkies? Yeah. Who wants to go for walkies? Who wants to go for walkies? I think it's safe to say. I think they want to go for walkies. Oats? Yeah? Oh, wigs. <gasps> what have you got? He's got a new toy. And it is a Christmas pudding. And he feels very special. Are you going to show everybody your Christmas pudding? Come on then! Are we going walkies? No, he's just guarding his toy, isn't he, Odes? Come on then, we're going to go walkies. Okay, so I've just come down to the dog room. So this is their bedroom. Popping some socks on. Marcus's socks that were in the laundry room. Very handy indeed. <laughs> and I'm now going to tough this weather. Trust me when I say it is absolutely Horrific. So let's get these boys ready 
Odie, uh, I think, do you know what? We could go around the field. Would you be happy with that? If we go for a long walk, then it's going to be dark by the time we get back and it will be drenched. Let's put their little collars on. They don't actually need to go on leads, but if anything happened, then at least they had collars on. These are the Holland Cooper uh, chestnut studded collars and they are absolutely beautiful. So they all have a little collar each. He's a posh dog. Right, one more, where are you? He has his Christmas pudding toy. So he is, come here. Can we leave the toy for just a moment? Can we put your collar on? We're gonna show everybody how smart you look. You're a little scrum scrum. Oh, delicious. I've got my new wellies and I am ready to rock and roll. I can't tell you, these came at the perfect time. We've got about four or five days of torrential rain here in the UK, so these will be absolutely perfect. And look at that. Wait a moment, I'm gonna have to show you. See whether we can bring this down slightly so that you can see my wellies. Can you see that? How cool do they look? It's a vibe. It is a vibe. The boys are ready, the wellies are on. It is absolutely peeing it down, so there is only one coat for it. I've popped on the Holland Cooper Expedition coat. I can't tell you, the rain is going sideways, but I am ready. Let's do this. Are we ready? <laughs> Let's go. Come on, boys. I know Wiggs. He is not fond of the rain. Oh gosh, this is just hideous. Come on boys, let's go. I've got my wellies on, my coat, and I am officially ready for winter. Oh boys, I probably should have put your coats on. We're gonna go around the field and I'm hoping they will be happy with that because this is the situation. Wiggy hates the rain. Come on baby, we're gonna go around the field. Our quickest trots. Come on, boys. Not quite gorgeous. <laughs> what a little walk I wanted to take you on. But we keep it real on this channel. But I must say, I'm very warm, incredibly dry, and extremely grateful for my Holland Cooper coat. This hood is insane. The windshield literally just goes straight past me. Look at this wind. And look at this rain. Oh my goodness, my camera is also so so I'm going to put you away. Can you see that sideways rain? Oh, the joy. This is absolutely atrocious. Odie is really not feeling it. He's walking with me at snail pace. He's matching my gorgeous wellies as well. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Lancelot. Come here, little manny. I have never seen my dogs run quite so quickly to take cover <laughs> and shield from this weather. But look at this material. Literally the water is just dripping straight off. I am so thankful to be in a 100% waterproof coat. I tell you what, I could go for miles. Although, you know, my camera is getting quite wet and the dogs are not happy to be out in this. I tell you what, Holland Cooper need to make dog coats as well, don't they? Um, they could be in little matching expedition coats. Holland Cooper, if you're watching this, we want matching coats that are as good as this waterproof system. Amazing. Oh, they look very sad and very wet, mummy. Come on then, let's go in the orchard. Come on. <laughs> they're running to the house. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so funny. Look at Odie, look, he's legging it. He's over there. Odie, what's happening? Boys, this way. <laughs> this way. <laughs> what was that? This is how much my dogs love the rain. Oh my goodness me. Oh, wowzers. Well, that was fun. I must say, I don't normally come in smiling from a dog walk that is just so horrible, but look at this coat. I'm actually really pleased that I was able to show you quite how incredible this coat is. Right, I'm just gonna pop you here. 
I do also need a towel down the dogs. I'm gonna pop you here just so that you can see. Let me take this coat off, how wet it is and how dry I am underneath. Oh my goodness. Why have you not brought these out sooner, Holland Cooper? I've been needing this in my life. Look at it, just the water dripping off. <laughs> it's time to towel you down. <laughs> oh, Dee, come here. I'm not sure I want to towel you down with a cream, in a cream jumper dress. Oh, they love the rubber dub dubs. <laughs> Ruffy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It is just horrendous, but this is one of the enjoyable bits. When we go outside in the peeing rain, we get to come inside and do rubber dub dubs. Wigs, come on in, come here. Who's next? Now you've just been done. <laughs> Odie, come here. And then when they're wet and get dried off, they do the zoomies. Odie, come here. Odie, here. Come here. Huh? You look like Voldemort when I do this to you. Okay. Oh, the rubber dub dubbies. The rubber dub dubbies. I think I might even sit down for this. Oh, there we go. Oh, mummy, so wet. Come on, you're not done yet. We need to do these bumblebees. Bumblebees? And this bumblebee? And your face? This is what happens when you have a long head <laughs> sausage dog in the rain. He is drenched. Oh my goodness. If I could develop a system that towel dried and then blow dried, ah, 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 blow dried their <laughs> coats, it would be extremely helpful. He then gets this such sweet little crimping on his ears. Look at the state of him. Oh gosh, Lancelot. And now for the peanut. <laughs> He's very upset because Raffi now has his, if you can see there, his Christmas pudding toy. Oh gosh, Odie, what's with the whining? He says, Mummy, you've balanced the camera on the treat box. Still wet underneath here. Oh my goodness, then Mummy, you're showing my private bits to the whole internet. There we go. Uh, there we go. Oh, all done. <laughs> What are you doing, my darling? They are now doing the zoomies. <laughs> Can you see them? <laughs> they go crazy around the kitchen. Are you wet? Oh my goodness, they are lunatics. <laughs> this is always what happens when they've either been bathed or they're just slightly wet. They do the crazy zoomies. Hey Rafi, you're just playing with your toy. There we go. <laughs> Today has just been so gorgeous and I've loved every moment of sharing it with you. So we did the most almighty winter unboxing with Holland Cooper. We created a beautiful faux and dried flower arrangement in the hallway, and we went for a miserable dog walk. But I truly hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I feel like it's very Holland Cooper heavy, but in all honesty, I am so over the moon, I am so happy, and I am so honored to be their fifth official brand ambassador. My face is hurting and thank you all so much for all of your love, your support, your comments, your messages. There are so many of you that even message Jade herself, Holland Cooper's Instagram page saying how much you love my content and I can't tell you how much that means to me. The fact that you take the time to send such a kind message, not only to me, but also to Holland Cooper is just... It's just amazing and I'm forever grateful to you all. So I truly cannot thank you all enough. I really feel like you made this happen as much as I did. So I'm cheersing you with my cup of tea. Mm. And I have got an evening ahead of me of editing, admin and emails. 
Yay! <laughs> but I'm going to get my laptop, I'm going to sit on the sofa as snug as a bug in a rug with four rather damp dashens in all honesty. <laughs> So I truly hope you have enjoyed this one. It wasn't as warm and cosy as I would have hoped on our dog walk. I was hoping for that gorgeous blue sky, crisp weather where you could see us walk and get all those gorgeous little sausage dog trots throughout the grass. However, that was not reality. My reality was a very wet, very damp, very windy, awful day. But I'm very grateful to be wearing such a warm coat. All I can say is thank you. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> and wishing you so much love.